Okay. I will say this. I know the leveling, they, they intended the leveling to feel a little bit slow, but I feel like it's too slow. I think the mobs should give more XP than they do. Because I, I think giving players options of like how they want to level and stuff is always good. Because some people just like grinding. Ah! What? Ah! Dude, what the heck? Am I crouching tiger, hidden dragon? Like, what's happening here? Okay, so where am I with my quests? I want to go and try and build up this node. This Mistmire node. We need to reach the third altar to Yolga, which is up here. And there's an apparition here along the way. Return to Scholar Rhea over here. So we're going to go apparition to Rhea to finding a foothold and Yolga's rat. We could go crafting a sword, but this crafting a sword quest is terrible. It is so bad. So let's go to the apparition first. Is this that new MMO you were on about? Yeah, I mean, this is just the, this is the early, like, technical alpha. Like, this is alpha one. So this is, like, the, the earliest stages of it. I do think that it's, it looks better in alpha one than I expected it to. I think looking for, like, a legitimate opinion about the game this early on is, is kind of just, it doesn't really make sense. New World is gonna smoke it. I mean, New World's coming out like two years before this game comes out. But dude, I'll be honest, man. New World does not look interesting to me. Like, I don't like survival, like Minecraft type games that much. Like games like Rust, I'm not even a huge fan of them. You're basically playing like a Rust MMO. It's not like that anymore, they changed it. Oh, really? Well then maybe I'll try it again. The thing is the number one most important thing for all these MMOs is that it feels smooth when you play it. If it doesn't feel smooth while you're playing it, then, then it's just, it's, it's not gonna go well. If I had to guess, it's probably two or three years. I know they're wiping it on Sunday. I'm just saying like, you still wanna test stuff out and see it. Okay, so I'm doing a quest. You see that thing that just disappeared? I'm, I'm trying to chase that thing. Um. Oh, this is bad. I'm effed. Frick! I'm gonna go back and then I'm gonna loop around. I'm gonna go to the other quests. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about the apparition for now because that thing's just gonna keep making me chase it. I'm gonna go to lesson one zoology over here. And then, I'll, and then I'll come back around here eventually. It's too hard to give like an honest opinion, right? It's mostly like, a, I mean, it's a technical alpha. Hi, sorry, no time to talk. Uh, I've studied the habitats of the creatures you listed. Hmm, fascinating. 31 months poker. These creatures are nothing like what we encounter in Sanctus. They're evolved to become more aggressive than their counterparts, probably due to the fact that they nest in such hazardous conditions. Thank you for collecting this data for me. You've been an excellent helper. I'd consult with Scholar Lodi if you're looking for more tasks. She's around here somewhere, collecting pollen or whatever botanists busy themselves with. I'll find her. Pressing a trade. Tidebreaker mount, is this good? Is this faster? Cool, thanks dude. Is that, is that gonna allow me to move faster? This is a beaver. Is this faster or no? Not faster, it just looks? Oh, okay. All right, let's go, to, let's go up to finding a foothold. Why is this mount so loud? Quit bitching. Wait, is it swim? Swimmers. Hey, look at it swim. Wait, is that poison? I'm not swimming. Unable to use spells while swimming. What the? F I will. <laughs> Press H to dismount if you have the swimming bug. Okay. Reach the third altar. I mean, this is. Okay, these guys are high level. Frick. I think I'm supposed to get up to the top of that. I need to find the third altar to Yolga, which I believe is up there. Frick. Frick. Okay. Okay. Good. Let's see if he can make it up here. Okay. I swear, sometimes you try and jump, it doesn't work though. No. Here, he's got it. Let's see if you can do it, chat. No. I'm combat bugged. I can't sprint. 
Yeah, I can't sprint either. I, I think on these rocks, I just want you sprint. Okay, here, let's see if I can make this jump, chat. Ready? Okay. Come on. No. Nice. Nice! We did it! Uh, now we have to investigate the disturbance below. Oh nice, he made it! Jump this way. You can do it, just believe. Just believe in yourself, trust me. It isn't about how much you fail, it's about not giving up. Believe in yourself, you got this. Nice! He can do it! Believe! Nice. He did it, Jet. Nice. Oh. So what is the disturbance below? It says check out the disturbance. Oh, hello. Oh, Yolga. What beautiful wheat you bring to me. Speak. Uh, try to seduce Yolga. I've been captivated by your beauty, oh mighty Yolga. I offer you my heart, if only you will spare my town. Do you take me as a fool? I smell your thoughts and I feast upon them. If you are unwise enough to bother me again, I shall feast upon your bones. Be gone. Follow me only if you seek death. Okay, well, frick. Uh, wait, did I screw up? Oh god, I think I messed up. I really wish I could set certain sounds, right? Like, sound effects and ambience and music, you know? I wish I could make the minimap smaller and put a background on it. Oh, there she is. Hello, Yolga. Wait, there's two Yolgas. Oh god. Here, kite, kite so we only defeat one. Wait, what? Wait, what level are you, DJ? Wait, did we finish that quest? Oh, I leveled! I'm level 4! Wait, these boots require level 12? These quest rewards have level requirements? I'm level 4! What is this? Uh, these guys are way too high level for me. How do I see what level you are? I click the character, maybe? No, I don't see it. The XP from killing mobs is terrible. And, and like I said, I understand that that might have been the intent, but I don't think it's good. Because if it's so bad that people just want to avoid killing mobs altogether, that is not a good thing for the game. Kind of the case right now. No, I'm gonna die! Frick. We shouldn't be here. A pride of chargers are attacking caravans passing through the road out east. I'll need to take them out to the supply. So where is that? Oh, nice. Yeah, that'll help a lot. Thank you. That'll help a lot? Well, I mean, it'll be, it'll be better than my default weapon. Oh, this hits way harder. That's, this hits way harder. I think I need something that returns mana to me, you know? So if I go and I have I have uh, this lacerate, I'm gonna drop that. I'm gonna go resounding smash. Because the delayed hit returns mana. Scholar Lodi. Have you found them? The fire flowers? No, I'll we'll keep looking. You'll frick you. I don't know what quests I'm on. Like this is this is really uh, not good. Like this this needs some this needs some work for sure. Like like the entire questing. <clears throat> experience is kind of rough. I don't know what quests I'm on. I don't know where to go. There's not enough. There's not enough explanation. I mean, this game is like two or three years out from being done. I'm just saying, like, that's kind of my feedback right now. Cave survey. Okay, let's go down there. We'll go to that cave down there. Can you play rep pal in this game? Kind of. You make a tank, and then you, for your subclass, you choose cleric. And then it's it's called a paladin. Okay, so I need to check out this cave. But where is this cave? Oh, hello. Hello there, Traveler. You can call me Ashwin. Uh, have you seen two soldiers come through here? No, I can't say I have. I've only just arrived a few hours ago. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna explore this cave. I see that. Before you go, would you collect some flowers for me while you're in there? To pick them, that is. Ten months It'll be perfectly safe for you. The cave itself is quite dangerous. Uh, what do you mean by perfectly safe? You haven't picked any before, right? No. Excellent, you can go pick some then. Wait, why can't you pick them? Oh, uh, it's too, it's much too treacherous for someone like me. I am but a humble healer, not an adventurer like you. I'll pay you well, 25 gold pieces for five flowers. Okay, so if I pick 10, will you give me 50? Don't pick more than five. Why not? Well, the flowers, uh, not bloom that is. It meant a slight allergen, you shouldn't pick too many. Okay, so what happens if I pick too many? Just pick five. Okay, fine, whatever. This keeps getting better and better. I'm going in. Uh, it is dark. Oh, no, it's not. Pick the flower? Wait, was it pickable? It didn't give me any, uh, dialogue. 
Okay, so we're gonna have to jump for all of these. Is that what it is? Doing good, how are you? I'm doing okay, I'm doing okay. I'm just trying to evaluate this game here. When you, when you haven't played the full game, like, you can't really give an opinion on an MMO until you hit max, in my opinion. Unless I hit max level and I start like doing all the content, how am I supposed to have an opinion on MMO? You know? Why would you even evaluate an alpha? Yeah, exactly. That's that's like my, my whole the whole point of what I'm saying here. Oh my. Brick! How's it play so far? I think it's a little bit clunky. I think that the movement needs to be smoother. Studios just stop making alphas public. Well, usually nobody ever makes like an alpha one. Like the state of this current game is usually like never public, but they did it because they're like, look, like we, we want to try something new here and like go with like the transparency angle and just like, hey, what do you guys think so far? How dare they? I'm mad. True. I feel like a huge revolution has come to gaming. Every ammo feels like it has these Life sentences changer. with small derivatives of each other. So, well, here's the problem, right? Every, every MMO tries to beat WoW by being like, Every MMO that was like, oh, this is it, dude, this is the WoW killer. Every single one was basically just like trying to copy WoW by being WoW. So you do have to kind of come up with something a little bit different. The problem is, is WoW is basically like the gold standard as far as, or it was for, for like a long time in a lot of ways. And I think one of those big ways is, is the barrier of entry to WoW is not as high. Like people talk about like oh, the elitists and the min maxes and that, but in reality, it's not that high. It's appealing to the eyes. It's easy to move, like the actual controls. Like that's one problem I have with this. Like I don't like the, like the controls feel like weird to me. Yeah, like the animations and the responsiveness need a lot of work. And it's, it's probably the number one most important thing. Like, if you look at a lot of games, and I used this example last night whenever I was playing this game, I was talking about like PUBG versus Fortnite, Dota versus League of Legends, where the ones that are more popular, even though like you might like Dota more or you might like PUBG more than Fortnite, which one is the one that stuck? The one that stuck was the one that was just more like user friendly in terms of like you can move your character more easily. Strafing in this is okay. But if you're trying to like strafe and run at the same time, it feels weird. How do I get rid of my res sick? Can I like pray at my my grave or something? It's an XP debt. You have to kill mobs to get it back. Oh my gosh, it's a, that's just annoying. Do you enjoy it in its current stage? Uh, no, not really. Like I like it's okay, but it's like, I if if you if you ask me like, would I rather be playing my my paladin on Burning Crusade like doing arenas and like doing Burning Crusade stuff at max level? I mean, of course I'd rather be doing that, right? But this is this is different. I would feel that way about literally any MMO that I play right at the beginning. Yeah, like look at WoW Alpha compared to, yeah, Vanilla WoW, exactly. There, there's so much that goes into the development process. I also think there's like, there's way too little of XP. Like doing quests give you insane XP, the, the mobs give you like nothing. We got the Night Bloom. Okay, let's go. Yeah, we can leave. Uh, sharpened one-handed sword, tiller for herbs. Do I do I take a tiller or do I take a one-handed sword? I'm getting the sword. See, look at how much XP quests give you versus they give you so much more XP than killing stuff. Like to, to the degree of like it's it's like I should just try and avoid killing as much as possible. I just doubt anything immediately is gonna end up being more fun than Burning Crusade is. And honestly, Burning Crusade probably in a month is coming out with SSC and Tempest Keep. So if like mid-August, early mid-August, we're looking at Serpent Shrine Cavern and Tempest Keep, like I just don't see an MMO being better than that right now. Um, this seems like a bad idea. I can tank, what Never level are you? Myself. How do I know what level somebody is? You're level five? This is a level 14 elite. Okay, just run, just leave, just leave, just leave, just leave. There's no, we don't stand a chance. Yeah, no, we're effed. Yeah, we don't stand a chance. Return to Scholar Lodi, okay. Wait, eagles, what are these eagles doing? What the frick? Yo, what the? Lost to birds again. Can you see the quest on the map? You can, but it's really, like, really clunky. Like, you'll see a dot on the map, right? Oh, crashing through is all the way up here. Dude, it's crazy. This is why companies won't make MMOs that often. It's because the amount of time and money and investment that goes into making the game, and then if your game sucks, then like, then what?
Like honestly, even 14 was kind of bad whenever it came out. They had to do a big update. I was just giving out over 30 classes. It has, it's like a grid. Like you pick one class and then you pick a subclass and that makes another class. So if you are a tank that at level 25 picks cleric, then you become a paladin. Uh, kill cursed chargers. There's no cursed chargers here. Wait, where am I? I'm missing. Okay. This looks really cool right here. The water does look nice. Yeah, the water does look nice. Can you name an MMO where swimming is fun? No. I mean, swimming is just swimming. I remember whenever they added swimming into Dark Age of Camelot, it was like crazy. Okay. It almost looks like STV. Yeah, it does kind of look like Stranglethorn Vale a little bit. It's very Stranglethorn Vale-ish. Are you enjoying it? It's okay. Like the like I, I've gotten to the point where I feel like it's it's a little bit aimless and I just kind of want to explore, you know. What is this? Oh wait, what? Wait, what? I'm getting sunlocked. The heck? A shrine that whispers? I got owned. Hey, I think I'm uh I think I might be kind of done with ashes for now. I enjoyed looking around and kind of getting like a taste of it and just kind of getting an idea of how like how the game feels so far. I think that, uh, I mean, as far as like what we could see and like honestly like talk about, I think it's pretty much over and it's like, you, like I really wanted to get into it and like start grinding it out, like going through all the quests and getting to level 15 and all that. But I, I don't really want to do that. This is a technical alpha. It's realistically, this game is probably not going to release for another three years. If we're just being honest, right? It is a, closed technical alpha. It's not really like a content test. Yeah, exactly. But uh, I think as far as like what we can see from the weekend test, I think I'm pretty much done with it for now.